Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Finally, I'm back. Um, I actually recorded uh, the, this video last 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 uh, Friday. I recorded it around three times, but I was not uh, satisfied. So I hesitated a lot. Uh, say okay, I will record tomorrow. I'm tired today. So eventually tomorrow by tomorrow Now I cannot delay anymore. So here is the video about Jakarta filter order which is when we use annotation Okay uh, <clears throat> We talked about the filter order when we talk about when we use XML to do the configuration, the filter order is based on the order actually uh, inside the source code of XML, right? So here we have two filter. One is the request login. The other one is the authentication. So which and both of them have the same URL, which one will be called first? It's gonna based on order. So this oh, this uh, uh, filter appear first, then this one is appear second in the source code. So request the login filter will be uh, called first, um, and the authentication filter will be called second. But now, if all of them using filter this annotation, what's what it will be? Which means let's uh, take a do this one, okay? Okay, so I will comment all the configuration of the oh oh my god. Okay, I want I will come I comment all the configurations inside the XML. Instead, I will use what I will use annotation. So I will use a web filter annotation and uh, the URL is like this one, right? This is required. Otherwise, it's not a filter. Nothing will happen. Same thing for the request login. So here now we have three filter authentication, request login, and the image filter. Um, we can do a little bit, yes. Uh, uh, we can do a little bit is we can comment this one and have a web filter which all of them the URL is exactly the same so in this case which one will be called first and which one will be called second and can we define the order using annotation web filter first answer Let's run, you will see, okay. First, they do have a default order. The default order is based on the class name, which is the filter name, this one, okay. It's not based on the filter name uh, because every uh, web, uh, web filter, you can have a name, right? It's not based on that one. I will demo to you later. So here, What, what 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 should I say? Let's make a request again, okay? Refresh, and we can go back. So here you will see authentication filter, then image filter, then request the login filter, which is the request, and a response gonna be the reverse order, right? This is reverse order. So the default, um, you know. A filter when you annotate use annotation the default order is based on the class name it's not based on the filter name let me show you suppose here we have a filter name and I suppose this one is something and this one have to change the value okay suppose this one is a C I have to have a semicolon right and uh, we have others which image image let's using uh, a okay request a login let's use another one which is b okay so far our default order is based on the class so 
uh, alphabet order, like uh, ascending, A, I, R. So it's not based on the filter name. Let me demo you this part. Okay, deploy successfully. Now let's make a request. Okay, now we go and take a look at the order doesn't change anything, right? Authentication image and request doesn't change. Not based on the field name, it's actually based on your uh, class name, okay? The field, the class name which implement that one. So this is the default order. Second one, can we define order using annotation? The answer is no. Here, when we take a look at the filter, uh, this annotation, there is no attribute here. See here, this is all attribute you can use inside of the uh, filter annotation. There is no attribute to say uh, the order. So, which means you cannot define order using annotation. But uh, sometimes we, we may want, and in this case, we have to take advantage of XML file. Okay, how to do that? So suppose you want to use annotation and you also want to define the order, then you have to do is in your annotation, you can have a filter name. Okay. And uh, inside the XML, you just have a filter mapping. You don't need to have that uh, filter. The first, uh, the e each of the filter has two parts, right? One is a filter and the tags inside the filter name and the class, right? You don't need to define that one. It will find. You just need to define um, filter mapping here. And this filter name has to match your filter name listed here. Okay, which is kind of like uh, short your uh, configuration in Vex, uh, shorten your configuration in XML. And uh, you may think why one good reason why in annotation not allowed you to, to define the order is suppose um, you use other dependency. And in other dependency, uh, which is an external library you are using, okay, it has uh, uh, some filters inside the, the dependency, and they use a web filter to define the order. So how can you override if you have exactly the same order, which one will be executed first? So this, this may be a good reason why in web filter, this annotation not allow you to define. And uh, you, the only way is through XML because even though you are using uh, external libraries, you still need to use XML to configure the filter order, right? So now let's uh, show you uh, this way, okay? So first, I want to change a little bit about uh, our um, filter configuration, okay? So first one, if we want to have the order, we cannot have a value. If you have value here, it doesn't work. Okay, I tested already. Tested uh, two weeks ago. Authen filter, okay. And uh, this one, I want to revert to the original code. I don't need to use this one, okay. Two is good enough, right? And this one, I will change to uh, Request login filter. Okay, like this. And uh, wh why you do this too? You don't need to configure what? You don't need to configure this part. Previously, you have to configure this part, right? Filter name and the class. Now you don't need to do. And but you really need to do is what? You really need to do is I will write another copy. Oh, we can. We can use the same copy actually, which is this one. But here I have to change it. How about I don't use this one? I will write from scratch. Filter, filter mapping A, 
the IntelliJ I didn't give the you know auto complete filter name and the first one yes authentication this is auth filter okay and then you have to give give the URL pattern and this one right and the second one you just uh, we just copy paste okay to save our time and the next one is request login okay and uh, same URL so in this case the order will be authentication field first and the login will be the second okay let's see and we can reverse later Mm -hmm. I'll deploy successfully go back to the browser and uh, make a request and then go back you will see authentication first then it's a request a login right and while here has a web okay okay uh, let's let's forget about it okay this one and the next one is if we reverse the order okay reverse and then we redeploy it. Let's restart the entire thing. Ah. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is because why? Oh, why this one is called is because the sovereign name. Okay, here I have a sovereign name configured. That's why. Okay makes sense okay so now let's go back to here refresh and now uh, we, we switch the order in XML see here we switch the order and now you will see the order of the filter is also being called differently you will see request login is called first then it's the authentication and in the response it's a reverse order authentication and the requesting right uh, sorry uh, re authentication and the request login okay so this is how you, if you um, choose use annotation to config your filter, use a web filter, this annotation, but you still want to have the order as you specified, then you have to mix the authentication, oh, sorry, you have to mix the annotation with the XML. And in the annotation, you give a filter name. Don't give URL, okay? And then uh, in the filter mapping, you specify the filter name, match the filter name you specified using annotation. And then also you give a URL pattern, okay? This is uh, how you specify annotation if you want to uh, if this is uh, how you specify the order when you still want to use annotation to config filter okay and uh, that's it for this video and uh, next video i i i want to do yes just to add a bit just a, to practice filter write a basic uh, login um page and also using login to filter suppose other pages and not uh, you cannot access other pages unless you are authenticated to do like that have a very simple demo uh, uh, where we can apply filter this technique okay uh, oh, by the way source code is in the description if you are interested you can download and if you like my video you can like and uh, subscribe <laughs> Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.